Hey everybody, I'm taking a look at Slack on the iPad. Uh, we had a couple people that were trying to figure out how to use Slack on their mobile device. Uh, this is an iPad. This is obviously not my use of an iPhone, but my hope is that the process will remain the same. So if I'm getting started, I'm going to go to my app store. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to search for Slack just to make sure that it is installed. I feel like it's easier to start with uh, the, you know, to start up your account and set up all the settings on the browser. But um, and then I also prefer to use uh, the browser tab. But I think that this use of Slack on your mobile device definitely helps out uh, Slack on your tablet definitely helps out. Um, and for many people, the mobile devices are our first uh, method of access. So I'm installing Slack. Once again, this is on iOS, so this is iPad uh, and your iPhone. I'm going to go ahead and hit open. The open screen is basically going to uh, get me started. So I'm going to say sign in because I already have a uh, an account. Uh, one of the nice things is that I can email myself a link so I can grab access to this. I'm going to say that I want to sign in manually. So what I'm going to do is add my URL for this uh, program. Slack.com. So then I hit next. So I'm going to add my email address that I use for the sign in. Hit next. next now what it's going to do is it's going to load all of my access for uh, this instance for this uh, instance that we're using for the project so if I'm in here what I can do is I can notice over here on the side I have all of the threads that I've been a part of and all of the discussions that I've been a part of I can look at uh, any unread messages in channels those will pop up to the top here so i'm in the middle of a facilitator uh channel so we're discussing here uh, i can go to click on channels and i can see access to all of the different channels that are out there and go to specific ones from that i can also go to the channels directly so i know i'm a member of the uh, ELA channel so I can go there and review uh, discussions that have been happening. One of the nice things is I can also go into direct messages and uh, send a direct message to someone right away. Um, so if I wanted to I could go in and find a message that I had with come on So you can see pretty much everybody's in here. So I know that I've had messages before with Mary Ellen. So I can go in and I can uh, direct message her right back and say, hey, you know, good morning. Uh, I can also add in, uh, click on the at sign. That's going to allow me to uh, name someone. So if I wanted to say like, hey, uh, add Alex's name to that. I could add that there. I can add an attachment. So this will pull up images that I've recently used in Slack. It might use images that I have on my iPad or my iPhone. I can grab uh, a photo. So if I want to, I can basically allow access to the camera and I can share photos and videos that I have on my device. And I can send all of these messages. Uh, a couple of the things while we're here on the device. Uh, so once again, we looked at our uh, our threads. We looked at our different channels that are out there. We looked at channels that pop up. I can see my direct messages down here so I can uh, add, remove. I can respond to those. If I slide left, uh, I can look at the different workspaces. So if I'm on different instances for other spots with Slack, I can see that. I can slide to the right and see recent direct messages that are all there. 
if I'm up on the top left and I click on the icon, actually, let me back out of that. So if I click on the icon for the whole uh, space, I can go in and I can look at my settings, which are over here. So on the top right, I'm going to be able to snooze uh, and hit do not disturb for a little bit of time. Here's my search functionality. If I click on the top right, I can set my status. I can hit do not disturb for now. I can add my activity for right now. Um, so I can see what people have been doing to my comments and my posts. Uh, I can find my start item. So if there's something that I want to look at at a later date, but I don't have headspace right now, I can start, I can look at my files. Um, I can edit my profile down here on the bottom. So I can go in and add my profile pic. I can uh, change or modify any of that. What I can also do is I can change my settings. So I can edit my profile up top once again, show my availability. Uh, notifications is right here. So if I want to uh, modify my notifications for this, um, which I definitely recommend, uh, you're going to go into your settings for uh, your iPad from there. Uh, other Android handles this a bit differently. Android is going to handle it at the beginning within Slack, but then it's going to send you over to your uh, notification section. And I can see on my notifications here, all of this has popped up. So for me, my notifications are set to, I want to be notified when I have a direct message and or a mention. Um, I don't want to be notified for everything that happens in the channel. So you can go in and modify your notifications for what best suits you. Uh, and then other things that are in there, accessibility options are all in there. Uh, you can uh, turn on dark mode if that's something that is of interest to you. I know that dark mode is uh, very hot right now, so it matters what works best for you. Uh, finally, if I go back into settings, uh, the only other thing that's in here that might be of interest to you is um, signing out. So if you want to get rid of this and you want to sign out on this device, if this is a school device or somebody else's, then you can obviously go in and you can sign out before you send it back to somebody else. So that's our use of Slack on the iPad. I think that this will help us for the use of iPhones as well. Uh, in the future, I'll have a video on how we use this on Android phones and tablets, but hopefully this helps you out as you get started and you think about your use of Slack.